So Didi just released a video and it's funny that I released the video yesterday and I just woke up this morning and Didi has put out a video and I saw like the first few seconds of it and I was like nope we need to have a sit down and look at this video together and yeah that is what I'm about to do right now. So I'm just gonna press play on his Instagram posts. reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom i made no <laughs> excuses my behavior on that video is inexcusable i take full responsibility for my actions in that video. and this is coming up now I'm disgusted you're not then clearly. I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. Back then or now? I'm going to therapy, I'm going to rehab. I had to ask God for His mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. It's so difficult to reflect on. The whole thing that is funny here is how this thing was a rumor and there was this whole PR about going to disbunk this rumor then there was a case there was a lawsuit and it was all about people are coming to bring another person down irregardless of anything like they're just coming for me um i'm a good man I'm a da -da 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 that was the virtual we're getting and if you check his instagram you still see things like time tells truth you still see the enough enough posts is still there and it's like are we being gaslighted or are we the ones gaslighting him because i i don't it's not making sense like if you want to apologize apologize right and get it done with and apologize about the fact that you have been lying for years but all this you know, manipulative, like, oh, you don't know the full truth. You don't know the full story. You don't know the, the, the. It's like, then say the full truth, <laughs> right? If you have something to say, say it. And if you just like go through um, the comment section, like you can see comments like, are you really sorry? Or you're just sorry because you got caught. Like life will come at your head sometimes and you have a difficult opinion. So be kind to people. Well, we, I'm trying to be kind as I'm doing this video because I'm not even saying 1% that I would say in my head out here on the internet, but like it's disturbing and inhumane what did he did to Cassie, but who are we to judge him? But that's the thing again about the black community, right? It's like, hmm. When will a black woman be respected? You know? When will she be respected? Like, everybody now is now putting on their um, scent and churchy and Bible hearts into this matter. And it's like, wait first, before you bring about kindness and forgiveness, remember the fact that this person has been lying. Like, even up till now, like there's still lies, it's not true, like there's still more evidence we don't know. So before you double down on being, you know, the first person on call to be the forgiver or the kindness bearer, like Okay, so let's take a look at what T D Jakes has to say um regarding this issue. That came in over uh, social media that I happened to just happened just to see as I was coming to church, and the woman said to me, "Would you please pray for women?" 
who are living in danger in their own house. And there was something about the way she said it, and I know she's watching right now. Uh, th there was something about the way she said it. It was a cry for help. And I realized something when I read what she said as a father and as a husband and as a son and a mama's boy at that. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. The atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. I, 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 I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. As a man, I saw my, my daughters. And it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought, if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that, that image a trigger for women who have been through that, who are currently going through that, who are in the middle of that, who feel trapped in situations where you are being physically and emotionally and verbally abused and it is possible to feel trapped and have a key to the door and still feel trapped in a situation you can't get out of and and it and it has domestic violence has no particular color age or face it can be sitting beside you today you can be churched, you can be unchurched, you can be educated, you can be rich, you can be poor. But let me tell you something before we pray. If And it's not always the man. Let me tell you a couple of things before we pray. Both for the victims and the perpetrator. There's something you need to understand. If you got a rage you can't control, if you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue, where you're bipolar, and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you got to get some help, dude. You got to get some help. You got to... You um, I'm just going to stop it here because I really can't watch more of this. I'm not even watching it, I'm just like reading the comments. If you want to go and watch it, you guys know where to go and find it. Um, what I'm going to say is, touch not my anointed. That's what people do say. And that thing, that line, that line alone, especially like to like Africans. Um, I don't know about Black Americans, but like Africans. Yeah. That line is like in your head and it stops you from like questioning a lot of stuff that people do say um and that's like what is even holding my tongue right now um because I, I must also like yeah see my own because i'm just like yeah hmm let's not talk at the end of the day everything can be explained because it's english and we are humans but what I want people to sit with is this thing was going on for years. A lot of people knew about it. A lot of people sat on it. And it's only just being talked about and reacted to now that there is evidence. What if there wasn't any evidence? What if there wasn't any proof? There wasn't any video? What would you have done? Especially with the people that knew about this. I mean, the rumors were out there for years. So this is not something new. But it's not like we're discovering if a new element or a new planet. It was just an effort there. But yeah, let's just say it. And yeah, that's, that's, that's my take. Peace, guys. Stay safe.